All right, I'm going to do something else here. Um, a while ago, people, several people said, you ought to put an electronic ignition in this rat rod. And I thought about it, and I thought, yeah, it's probably not a bad idea if I had one. Well, I ran across one recently, and uh, I drove this thing to the car show that day, and I popped the distributor off because somebody was, well, actually, we was looking at one. This guy was selling them. I was looking at mine to see what kind it would take. And I noticed on the way back it wasn't running very good, and I thought, well, I ought to, I ought to just poke that baby in there and see if she doesn't improve the way she runs. So that's what I'm gonna do. I, I got the distributor cap off and you can see this is an old fashioned old fashioned motor with a rotor button and a set of points and a condenser and all that stuff. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go get that new uh, electronic ignition. In fact I got it right here in a box. I'm gonna get that electronic ignition. I'm gonna I'm gonna install it and I'm gonna crank this thing up and see if she runs any better. Alright I took the old points out of this thing and uh, boy they have I want you to look at that wire there. That's that looks like that's about as old as the as the engine itself. And that wire <laughs> that wire was shoved up under a little piece of uh, oh, it had a little piece of uh, where did that thing go? A little plastic hook that sort of holds it out of the way. And uh, so that meant that that wire was pushed right up against the distributor. This thing was holding it down. It doesn't look like the best setup in the world. Um, I got this new thing in here. And basically, I think all I got to do is um, run a run the wire the hot side to the plus on the coil, and the other side to the negative on the coil, and then a uh, uh, little cap thing that goes on that, and I'll be done. And I'll crank it up. Now, as far as vacuum vents advance goes, it doesn't work. And I got another old Cadillac distributor here, and I tested it with a uh, vacuum tester, and it doesn't work either. Neither one of them hold any vacuum whatsoever. So that's something I need to replace. I don't think there's any way to fix those. they got a diagram inside them. I don't think you can take them apart. So anyway, that'll be a chore for another day, but uh, I'll go ahead and throw this in here and we'll uh, see if she cranks. Well, okay, I got the electronic ignition module put in there. Boy, I feel like a real high-tech redneck today. Let me tell you, I ain't never done nothing like this before. Anyway, uh, let's see if she cranks. Cross your fingers, hold your breath, see what happens. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. That's a good sign. Needs a little gas. Oh, come on, girl, you can do it. I guess I could hop over in there and match the game pedal a little bit. That probably helps. Might even have to take this thing for a ride now. about the same thing she was doing when she came off from the show the other day. And I don't know. Where to start? Let's see, I know I got the vacuum line off because I pulled one off. Let me stop that up. I guess that's a good part to start. Okay. 